morning. Today I've got a photo shoot for a coffee shop. So I'm gonna pack this bag, drop the kids off, and then go around there and do number one. Okay, so this is haptic coffee and odds. Okay, so in a nutshell, this is basically the inside the coffee shop, and this is what we're doing to shoot. I had looked at doing some flash stuff, but it's really difficult to do flash stuff when you've got people inside eating food. To fire a flash the whole day is just gonna irritate them. So what I'm doing is I'm running one of my newer lights with a diffuser. It's basically just softening the light and sort of working with the natural light that's already coming in the window to sort of light up the cup. The idea is we're gonna do a set shot of all the different coffees that are up on the menu, cappuccinos, lattes, cortados, espressos, all that stuff. Then we'll do a bunch of food shots and then I'll do a whole bunch of like casual, natural shots throughout the restaurant, some poor shots, things like that. It's gonna be good fun. Plus, check this window out. It's perfect. Especially with the cloud cover, it's working like a natural diffuser. Tell you what, it's really, really busy in here, and poor Chris behind the bar is like he's flat out as is with the customers. He definitely does not need me here heckling him. Can I get another flat white? Can I get a cappuccino? All right, so they also do teas, so I'm going to sprinkle a bit of this loose leaf around this. I have learned, right? If you're trying to photograph a cappuccino or like well any milky coffee with foam, you've got like. 20 seconds before the foam is destroyed and then you can't shoot it. Do you know how difficult it is photographing all this food and just wanting to eat all of it? The only difference between the food and the coffee is the coffee has to be photographed immediately, otherwise it gets really, really, otherwise it looks crap. Where's the food? The food looks better whenever you let it cool down. So some of this stuff has to be done on a tripod because you get like a like a first person shooter effect. I'm gonna sprinkle some of the sugar over the eggs and waffles. And then get the shot from here. Because what I want to show is that like point of view idea. Where you can see the rest of the restaurant in the background, and in my hand in shot, sprinkle in the sugar. chances to get it right with the syrup. Well, eventually I have to eat. These are called Baghdad eggs. I haven't eaten anything at all today. Horrible idea. Left the house, no food. Why didn't I eat? Thought I'm coming here. All I've done is drink coffee and tea all day. This is the bit I hate. Having to pack it all away. I would, I would employ an assistant just to pack my stuff away. Just be like, yo, pack that away, I'm off. Just leave, just walk out the door, and find them later. Hi. 
So there you go. That's that shoot done and complete. Those are really fun shoots. I don't get to work with food and coffee enough unless it's in my own house when I'm just literally faffing around. It was really difficult looking and smelling all that food cooking the whole time, man. Oh my God, there was, they just kept bringing food out. They just kept bringing more food out. And every time they did, I could just smell it. I was like, guys, you're killing me. But their food is gorgeous. What really impressed me is the Sony A7 III battery. That's the first time I've really had to put it to the test. Like I didn't charge it once and it ran all day. It's at 22%. And it was a full charge when I left. At the end of the day at 22%. And I was shooting photos non-stop from like 9 a.m. through to 4.30 p.m. That's like a full day shooting. If that was an A6300, I'd have burned through all three batteries that I own. Because living in Northern Ireland, it's a real pain in the ass getting hold of batteries for cameras because nowhere wants to ship for some sort of safety precaution. So that bodes well for me having a battery that lasts for so long. By the way, this is just a brick wall, all right? I had this incredible idea of where I wanted to film this piece of camera, looking out over the lock in New Norris. It is so difficult because the wind is just always blowing. So I'll show you how, I was kind of hoping I'd have this nice vast, like seascape thing, but this is what it's like, but this is what the wind is like. See what I mean? Anyway, that's where we're at. I, I wanted to try and find somewhere epic to end this video, but alas, the wind was not working in my favor. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, and uh, I'll let you know when the photos are out. Okay, later. Alright, so they also do teas. <laughs> They'll do it all here, like. <laughs>